yeah, guys, uh, real fucking crimes are happening in New York, and it's going unaddressed, okay? Uh, New York City fashion girlies, beware. While this plays, I got to go pee NYC, real quick. Be fucking aware. This man is out here on Tinder and Hinge, and he will steal from you. So this is a story about how that fucker stole my Mary Jane tabbies um, that my father bought for me as a birthday gift. Okay, so how it all happened. So I'm walking around Soho and I see this really cute guy and we cross paths, we just lock eyes and that's really it. Fast forward in the evening, I get a message on Tinder and it's from the guy and he's like, hey, did I see you downtown? I didn't know we matched on Tinder before, but guess we did. We start chatting and then we ended up going out for drinks. We get drinks and everything seems like cool and like he seems like a nice guy and like someone I would just probably just hang out with for like a little fling and just like sleep with. After the day, he's pretty persistent about like seeing me again and hanging out. Okay, fast forward, we hang out again, he comes over and we sleep together. Before we sleep together, we're like chatting about like fashion and stuff and he's like really wants tabbies and like he, I'm like, oh yeah, I have some tabbies and like he's like, oh, I really want the boots. Okay, so then fast forward to the morning, we have sex again. Then I get up, I go and I brush my teeth, I come back, he's putting his clothes on and we chat a little bit more. So now we're chatting and he's like, oh, can I show you this playlist on Spotify? I feel like you really like it. And I'm like, okay, sure. Um, he doesn't have Spotify and we've already discussed. Bro, he hit it twice. It's like, he kind of, at that point, it's like, is, is payment rendered? You know what I mean? So he, um, I give him my phone to go on Spotify to look it up. I open my phone and everything for him. I give him the app to Spotify. He looks it up. So then he gives me back my phone. He's like, I can't find the playlist. I'm just like, okay, it's time to go. And he's like, I'm gonna head out. And I'm like, bye. And he's like, okay, like text me. And I'm like, okay, bye. Hour what the fuck even is a tabby? So, uh, tabbies are for uh, for the not girlies, not fashion girlies, or not fashion uh, guys in the chat. Uh, the the shoes that she showed with the with the camel hoof, basically the double hoof. Uh, they're Margellas, like or at least they are originally just Japanese uh, ninja shoes. You know what I mean? They're sock shoes in Japan that. Uh, Margella turned into this uh, phenomena. Um, they're leather. You need specific socks for it. Do you own any tabbies? No. I've worn tabbies, though, on stream. Shoes ugly as fuck? No, I think they're cool. I, I, I do think that they're cool. I, I do like them. Here, tabby shoes. Maison Margiela. Tabby ballerinas. I like that these are open toe ones, which is like kind of defeats the purpose of it being a tabby, but it's still a tabby, I guess. Those shoes are ugly as hell. Yeah, whatever. Okay, you're not a fashion girly, clearly. Hours pass. I'm on my computer. I look over to my shoe rack over here. I have tabby boots up there. We were talking about the tabby boots and he was like referencing those. He barely glanced at the, the Mary Janes, okay? I look over there and they're gone. And I'm like, where are my tabbies? So I look like high and low, look under my bed, look at my suitcase, look at my closet, can't find them anywhere. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna be accusatory. I'm just gonna see if he knows where I put them. I go to Tinder to message him, unmatched, gone. I'm like, oh no, this bitch stole my fucking shoes. So I go, it's fine. We talked on the phone. You literally tried to have XC buy the booster in the fish room like three months ago before they blew up? No. In the fashion scene, tabbies have been blown up for a minute. That wasn't, they didn't just blow up. I think people make more memes about them now, but it's, for anyone who's like even a little aware of, of, of fashion, they've been blown up for years oh, and gonna years. I'm going to go um, to my call log and find his number. I go to the call log and he literally deleted the history of the call. So I can't find his number. And I'm like, so when you were on Spotify, you were actually deleting my your phone number from my phone. Dude, she, the perfect crime. The perfect crime. It's so good. It's so good. And it's also like, like, yeah, sure. He stole like $900 leather shoes from her, right? Which is a lot of money. But also, like, he hit it twice, like, implying that she liked it. It was so nice that, 
you know, she hit it twice, right? As in, like, he, he knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing at night. He knew what he was doing in the morning, and he just fucking stole the, stole the shoes. There's a part three and a part two? Oh. Jesus Christ. More of the story is don't fuck with this fucker named Joshua on Tinder. He's a dickhead. Dude, look at him. He's got the Arcturx and everything, dude. And He's... if you know who he is, where he lives, or anything about him, fucking let me know because I deserve retribution and I want my fucking shoes back. <laughs> yes, I. this is the most throwing fits ass story of all time, dude. Of course. Of course they would have been about this. That's just not true. The morning hot does not mean there was anything good. What do you mean? I feel like if you're going again, if you're going again in the morning with fucking morning breath and everything, that means like, and in broad daylight too, that means that like you, you want to, that's a return customer, okay? Morning sex absolutely implies that the vibes were, were excellent, immaculate at night. Because you were like, oh, you know, we did this. I now want to do it sober in broad daylight with fucking sober in broad daylight with fucking uh, uh, morning breath and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you go twice, you did something right the first time. That's it. He stole it for his girlfriend, too. That's awesome. Oh, here, here, here. Okay, so y'all, there's an update. Hey, girl, I just saw your TikTok, and this is crazy. Do you have receipts and stuff I can show my friend? Because I'm 1,000% certain this is my good friend's boyfriend. I need to talk to her because he gifted her those tabbies. Hi, I just saw your TikTok and tried DMing you but there, but it won't go uh, through. My friend has been dating him for months, and he just gave her a pair of tabbies. Do you have receipts I can show her? So freaked out right now for her. Are these them? I'd appreciate it if you would take that TikTok down until you prove I did it. People are DMing me for something I didn't do. His girlfriend in my shoes. I just woke up to a lot. I didn't think it would be this huge and that I would be on so many platforms. I literally just wanted my shoes. I'm going with the multiple friends to go get those shoes. All right, you got me. I'll give them back to you. Give me a time and place. I'm just asking to remove the TikToks is all. No fucking way. Listen. It's, this is so, this is a man who went to, this is the greatest boyfriend of all time. I'll say it if no one else will. This is a man who went to lengths that nobody else would go to to get his girlfriend some tabbies. <laughs> The grit, the dedication, the dedication. He didn't want to cheat. He didn't want to cheat. He wanted to, if the economy, if Brandon's economy was fair and balanced and honest, he could just do an honest day of work. <coughs> <coughs> he could do an honest day of work and get his girlfriend some tabbies, but he couldn't do that. He could not do that. So what did he do? But baby, I slept with another girl to get you those tabbies. Yeah, it's like <laughs> he did everything right. He did everything right, and they fucking indicted him, dude. What is this? She got her tabbies back, and that dude was smiling the whole time. He's evil, and he most likely has definitely done this before. Secured. This man is a demon. He was smiling the whole time. We'll give a full recap shortly. Oh, my God. She should have stolen his bike. Video update. The man is a sicko. Oh, my God. This is the gift that keeps on giving, dude. I want to I know everything. Minus one girlfriend, minus one pair of tabbies. Let me tell you something crazy. It's hard to find a good man out in New York, okay? It's hard. It's hard to find a caring, loving boyfriend who will go the mile for you. I'm willing to bet that they're still together. That's right. 
I said it. Okay? Get you a boyfriend who will cheat on you to go get what you truly desire. Could be a pair of tabbies. It could be a $5 a month subscription to the Hassan Ivy broadcast in order to avoid the ads at the top of the hour. These are things that boyfriends will do. Some boyfriends won't. This man went the distance. Get you a man who can do that. Okay? Okay, so I woke up this morning to the video getting even crazier, and now there's memes. It's on Twitter uh, and everywhere, but update, I got my tabbies back. So... Yeah, I ended up getting them back and I'll tell you guys exactly how. So after like finally finding him, he privated his Instagram. I couldn't really communicate with him through that. Um, I like reached out to his sister. I reached out to like a bunch of people because people were giving me a bunch of information about him. So I was just trying to get in contact with him. Um, he finally calls me two hours later after he privated his account and starts to gaslight me and tell me that um, he didn't steal them and he doesn't know how it happened and what happened and he's like that's just out of my character I would never do that and like I started feeling crazy because I'm like you're real he's this man is a psychopath um he was trying to convince me that he didn't steal it and I'm like how then I'm sorry the fact that you got almost gaslit by him means you got dignitized Woo! Woo! my head is spinning I, I got up too fast oh my god you got, you literally got dignitized if you got, if you got fucked up like that. The man is, dick game is out of control. Do you understand? What is happening? How? God damn, I got secondary, I got secondhand dignitized for a second. I got up and I was like, oof, almost fell down. Dude was like, I was thinking about your new shoes the whole time, I swear. <sighs> Tell me how, what happened? Um, and then he went into there is dignosis, man. It's crazy saying that he would give me money for it. And that's when I knew he was fucking lying because he was like, oh, you, I can give you $500. You know what I do for a living. You like, I'll give you a thousand dollars. And I'm just like, oh, when you're offering money, that means you did it. Like an innocent person would not give a thousand dollars if they did not do it. So then the plot thickens, find out he has a girlfriend and that he gave my tabbies to his girlfriend. Um, I send him a screenshot of his girlfriend wearing my tabbies and he's like an hours later at 3 a.m. I get a text message and he's like, I, right, you caught me. Um, I'll give you back your shoes. Can you take down the video? So this is him again, gaslighting me being like, I didn't do anything. Then I send him That's this so and then hours later, he's like, got me. That's his girlfriend wearing my shoes, by the way. And like, he thinks this shit is a fucking joke. This is another message he sent to me. <laughs> after. Know the he was literally oh, smiling so like the whole fucking time. Jeez, this is so good. I know, like, people will get mad and, like, try to take this seriously. But as far as stories goes, like, this is such, a, like, a like a low-stakes okay. crime that I, I can't help but, but laugh at this. You know okay, what I mean? Okay, so I woke up this morning. So, so there's more? I don't really know how he got it out of my apartment. I'm pretty sure he put it in his pants waistband because he was wearing, like, cargo pants, like, kind of baggy pants like kind of baggy shirt, like a bigger shirt. Um, so I'm pretty sure like he just put it in his pants somehow um, in like the waistband or the pockets or something. If they're Why didn't he put it in the pockets? He's got the book. Dude, boys out there. Oh my God. Dude, I'm telling you, Nalita boys are out there wearing big ass cargos and y'all thought that they were wearing those for fashion. Turns out it is for fashion but a fashion crime, rather. And I don't mean, I don't mean a fashion crime as in like it looks ugly. I mean literally doing crimes directly related to fashionable items, okay? That's what they're doing. You thought they, you're like, oh, oh, why are you wearing carpenter denim? Are you a carpenter? You've never touched the trade. You don't know what a trade is, dumbass. Turns out that's why they're wearing the carpenter denim with those big ass pockets, dude. For crime. Free my man. He deserves the tabbies. He fucked for those tabbies. He fucked hard. Yeah, it is a trade. It's called theft. There's a guild. There's a thieves guild. 
basically a trade. Uh, frugal aesthetic, more like frugal. Yeah, frugal aesthetic is right, dude. He is so frugal. They were deep enough because they're like kind of slim. So you could probably like finesse. So I don't really know how he got it out of my- <laughs> Yeah, he's in the Lower East Side Thieves Guild, dude. My man is high ranking. <laughs> he said, he said stealth plus 10, dude. What the fuck? I can't believe he just, he, dude, this story is so awesome. What a stupid fucking story. It's so good. This is typical rogue behavior. He can't help it. It's just his class. Yeah, 100%. He laid solid pipe twice for those tabbies. I'm just telling you, dude. Well, one, chatter's right. These goddamn Democrat-run cities are ridden with crime, okay? Crime has gotten out of control in these fucking Democrat-run cities. They're out here... <laughs> they're out here laying pipe specifically to steal tabbies, okay? Straight up. But... His girlfriend didn't question where the shoes came from. No box. Her dad bought her those shoes, so no way she's letting this go. He gave her back fake tabbies, by the way. No shot. Everyone's saying rogue shit is way off. That's some bard shit. Double dicking down when taking shoes for another girl is the most bard coded move. Actually, not wrong. I would never buy used tabbies. Imagine how nasty the slits are. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Bro, she, he made his girlfriend share another woman's toe jams oh rose oh no i totally forgot about that you know she's not wearing those with the socks that should probably get so fucking oh uh, so it gets warm and humid in the new york summer you know that shit's got its own ecosystem down there oh oh Shout out throwing fits. Yeah, shout out the throwing fits. God damn. No, no, he stole her socks too, along with her tabbies. Well, you can't wear the tabbies with normal socks. You got to steal socks too. <laughs> I wonder if he did do that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> he's like, he's like, sorry, I had to steal the socks too, because like, I don't have any socks that I know my girlfriend doesn't have any tabby socks. 